So what is going on guys, my name is Odin here, also known as Rath, thank you guys so much for joining me to another video where today we're going to be talking about something pretty big for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yes, there is a brand new leak that just came out not too long ago that talked about things that were currently shown in the Direct and some things that were not shown in the Direct. So for the people who do not want to be spoiled by anything Sword and Shield related, the first thing that you're going to do is one, go into down below into the video make sure that you guys hit that thumbs up button it'll definitely be cool and really help support the channel as well make sure that you guys subscribe to this channel so you guys never miss anything pokemon sword and shield related the second thing that you're going to do is go ahead and click off the video thank you guys so much for viewing this it really means a lot and supports this channel a lot to anybody who is still here listening to my voice this is your last warning. If you do not want to be spoiled for anything Pokemon Sword and Shield related, I highly suggest that you leave this video. Now that everybody is gone, let's just jump right into it. This is going to be everything that we've seen in this leak. This is not fully confirmed yet, but most of the stuff that has been said within this leak has been true as well. There are going to be some stuff here that is brand new that we didn't get to see within the Pokemon Direct itself. So without further ado guys, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the leak. I'm not going to fully dive right into this leak. So if you guys want to read the full leak for yourselves, guys definitely go ahead into the description down below. There is going to be a full link to this leak that shows off everything that is this Pokemon Sword and Shield leak. But without further ado, guys, let's just go right into it. Let's just talk about everything that I think is very interesting. So I will talk, give my little bit of opinions about it, and move on to the next point and topic. So the first thing that we have here is your rival's name is Hop, which is something that we already know. But things that you didn't know is that you'll be having two new rivals. There's one called BD and another one called Marine. So that's going to be really awesome. This definitely reminds me of Pokemon black and white where we had not one but three different rivals a friend of mine did call this out and noticed that within the pokemon direct they said that hop is not one of our rivals there definitely seems like there's going to be more rivals shout out to kingdom mates if you guys didn't know he's an awesome youtuber go check out his channel and link in the description down below but yeah that's really cool i definitely like the fact that there is more than one rival within this game definitely seems like this game is going to bring back that somewhat sun and moon-esque feel but at the same time i do definitely think that it might have a more pokemon sun and moon type where we did have more than one rival within the game where we had various rivals as well as various friends that also help out in battle within the game the second thing that i thought that was very interesting is that there is it within this leak a legendary pokemon a evil legendary pokemon to be exact called eternius which is absolutely really cool so it definitely seems like the sword main and the shield wolf one that we both got to see within the game called zamazatu and the i, I forget the other one because they are some hard names to pronounce and i do apologize for anybody who feels suspended about that but they definitely look like they are working together to fight an evil common enemy within the game this is something that I definitely noticed within the last Pokemon trailer when they kind of showed both legendaries looking at each other and more like friendly towards each other rather than being enemies that want to kill each other, which is really cool. I definitely think that Eternius might be the big Pokemon that we did get to see within the mountain from a while back, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe that just might be something that shows off Dimaxing or something else within the game. I'm not 100% sure, but that seems really cool and I definitely want to see where they take this evil legendary Pokemon and what it does. So that's going to be awesome. The next thing that I found that was very interesting on this list is something that a lot of people might be a little bit disappointed by. Yes, this is talking about Score Bunny. It says within this link, Score Bunny will be having fighting type moves, but is a pure, but is a pure fighter. It becomes Rabot. 
but I don't remember the final evolution except that it looks like a fighter and looks humanoid. So this definitely kind of seems or kind of sounds like Score Bunny is going to be a fire fighting type. However, within this leak, it does say that he becomes a pure fighter. Whether or not he means by a fighter such like a boxer or a kickboxer type of fighter or an MMA fighter, I'm not 100% sure what they're trying to talk about within this, but it definitely doesn't sound like he's a fighting type Pokemon per se. It doesn't full blow mean that he is a fighting type Pokemon because we had had Pokemon in the past that kind of looked like they were going to be a fighting type or a wrestler, which air calls to Incineroar. And we definitely thought that Incineroar was going to be a fire fighting type, but then little did we know Incineroar comes out to be a fire dark type Pokemon. So I definitely think this could still happen with Scar Bunny. It's not a hundred percent sure if it's gonna be a fire fighting type, but I'm definitely guessing it's gonna have a fire electric type that can learn fighting type moves that's going to be something really awesome i really really hope that game freak does something like this rather than having it be a fire fighting type because we've seen so many of those pokemon already next one that sounded a little bit interesting is swabble swabble becomes sizzle and then uh elatilion a chameleon with a spy theme so that's going to be really cool i think swabble sounds awesome he definitely definitely seems like a really cute pokemon but from what I can see and what his description for Swabble is, he definitely doesn't seem like a very huge pick or a choice for me. Swabble just kind of seems like that crybaby right now, but he might evolve into something really cool. I really can't wait to see what he turns into in his final evolution. The last bit of news that I really want to cover is Grookey. Grookey apparently will end up as a giant gorilla that beats a wooden drum to attack. I think that this is really awesome for Grookey. He goes from this small little chimp to this giant gorilla, which is a really nice evolution chain. And I definitely would love to see what this Pokemon looks like in terms of design. And I hope that it gets a really awesome type of secondary ability or secondary typing as well which would be really cool maybe he will be a grass and i don't know fire type that's just coming out of nowhere but it would be really cool to see grookey be this great new pokemon typing that we can definitely know and love i can't wait to see what all three of these future pokemon will look like but that's pretty much it for now that's all the very interesting stuff that I really got from this leak. Again, if you guys want to read the leak for yourself, make sure that you guys go in the comment section down below or into the description where it will be posted for the link to the leak. So don't worry about it. But if you guys are really excited for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, let me know in the comment section down below what are you truly excited to see within this game. And as well, make sure you guys hit that like button that shows you guys are supporting the videos. Comment down below and subscribe for brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield information all day, every day on this channel. This week is going to be absolutely crazy and hectic. It is E3 week. We will be having a video coming out tomorrow talking about some games that are going to be shown off for E3. But without further ado, my name is Adam, also known as Raph. Take care and have a good one. Peace out, guys.